everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and obviously judging by the title of the video, we are going to be comparing the 2020 Ram 1500 Laramie to the 2020 Ram 1500 Bighorn. So, in the first part of the video, we're basically going to be doing a walk around between the two vehicles, comparing the features on them, so you guys can kind of get a good feel for that. And then we're going to sum things up by going over, you know, the pricing on the vehicles, obviously, and then, you know, what I think you should go for, depending on what you're using the truck for. As always, a big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller, Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah, for providing us with the trucks. Let's get right into the video. Let's start onto the hoods of both the trucks. Let's go to the Bighorn first and foremost, and it's gonna be identical to the one inside of the Laramie. So, we have a naturally aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi under the hoods of both of the trucks. And then in terms of power outputs, 395 horsepower, 410 pound-feet of torque, both of them through an eight-speed automatic transmission. And then both of these trucks have the available engine options are identical between the two. So you can get 3.6 liter V6 in either truck, you can get the 5.7 Hemi in either truck, and you can get the 5.7 Hemi with e-torque in either truck, and then up and coming, you can get the Eco Diesel in either truck, later availability for 2020. Now let's finish things up with exterior styling. So this one is a night edition package. So the big horns come standard with the halogen bulbs. The night edition blacks out the grill and it blacks out the headlights. And then you can see the Bighorns will all come with fog lights. This one's got parking sensors integrated into the bumper and then tow hooks as well. The Ram logo's all blacked out. And then you can see traditional Ram hood. And then it's got the 1500 Hemi badging all blacked out on the side right there. On the sport package here, you can see that it kind of does a mix between like the blacking out. So, and then also still keeps chrome elements. So like on the hood, for example, this is still chrome. Sport hood though on the Laramie that you cannot get on the Bighorn, sadly. You've got full LED lights, which these LED lights you can get as an option on the Bighorn's Ram logo. And then you can see the bumpers are body painted since this is a sport. And then you can see the fog lights. Look at the difference between those. And then you can see parking sensors at the bottom of the bumper with the tow hooks. Now looking at the tire and rim setup between the trucks, it is actually identical. And if you look, it's the same rims. This one's just powder coated black, 20 inch rims, 275 millimeter tires. 20 inch rims, 275, 275 millimeter tires. And then those rims are chrome, those ones are black. Other than that, the setup is identical. But note, you can see a little fender flare here. Whereas the big horn, it's just uh, no fender flare. And as we are walking down the side, this one has side steps, this one doesn't, but you can get side steps with the Laramie if you want. And let's head out back. We have our key fob here for the big horn. You got a couple functions, your lock and unlock and remote start. So press that twice. First time we'll lock it, second time we'll remote start it. This truck's almost out of gas, so it's not gonna do the remote start function probably. Yeah, not gonna do it. Anyways, if we unlock the truck fully, we can pop over to the back of the tailgate. This one has the slow lowering tailgate with it. And then you can see those are the slots that you can put LED lights. This one's got a five foot seven bed. And then you can see that it's got the power rear siding window there with the cargo light up top. Lifting up the bed, the bed is really light. Ram logo all blacked out, four by four badging. It says Bighorn on the back. And then you can see the bumper body painted exhaust tips are all blacked out, got their little receiver hitch. And then right there you can see you've got some plugins as well for towing. Now here is the key fob for the Laramie. It's got a couple more functions on it. Well, just one more function. It has a tailgate release, but we'll see if this one starts up. Maybe it has enough fuel. Oh, there we go. By the way, the exhaust on both of them will sound identical. So this counts for uh, both trucks. Anyways, the other function is the tailgate release. So press that. And that is what will lower down the tailgate, as you can see, in an awkwardly slow fashion. But you can see you've got covering on the back because this has a multi-function tailgate. Go over that in a minute. Full bed liner. This one has the LED bed lights. You've got little cargo sliders, power setting window with the cargo light up top. Lifting up this bed with this multi-function tailgate, it's gonna be heavier than that bed. I mean, you can even hear how it sounds, but to open up the tailgate, you just press that little latch down there, and then you can pull this little latch here, and then the bed is open like that. Now, shutting this, we can see 4x4 badging, Ram logo, Laramie, exhaust tips finished in chrome. You've got all your plugins for towing. And then I did forget to mention halogen, or not halogen, incandescent lights in the back, full LED lights in the back, but you can get LED lights in the Bighorn as an option. 
Now here on the big horn, you can see cloth trim with the black trim on the door. We've got leather with the stitching, window control right here with the door handle, one of the speakers for the sound system, and then we can fully pop in and see the whole seating setup. So cloth seats here in the big horn. You got a little cup holder pull out here with the big horn. This particular one has the rubber floor mats with it, and then you can see that you've got a full power outlet down there with some USBs, and then you've got vents, cup holders, more of that black trim. Ice buckets here on the side, and then you can lift up the seats for a flat loading floor here in the big horn. Now here in the Laramie, let's look at the door panel. Suede insert, black trim, leather up top of stitching, more of the leather with more stitching, window control, one of the speakers for the sound system. And then you can see the seats, full leather with the suede inserts on them. And if we actually pull this down, you can see how that looks different compared to the big horn. Got a little felt in there, some cup holders. Seats still do fold up. You got a little storage floor in there. Ice buckets, and then cup holders, more of the black trim around full charging stations, USBs, everything. So that whole area kind of looks the same. Now coming around to the front of the Bighorn here, cloth insert again, black trim, you got the leather with the contrasted stitching. All of your window controls right here. The mirrors are power folding here on the Bighorn. Another speaker for the sound system, power adjustments on the seat. And then this is for lumbar. You can see full cloth seats with the contrasted stitching. And then just down below right there, you can see that's the hood latch release. Power adjustable pedals. This is your parking brake right there. And then your light controls, I leave in automatic mode typically. Fog lights, cargo lights. And then these are for the gauges. And then the steering wheel is gonna be manually adjustable. As you can see, keyless entry on the Laramie. So one touch to lock it and one touch to unlock it. You can see the door panel here on the front, black trim, suede insert, leather. And then you can see all of your window controls, power folding mirrors, memory seats on this particular one. And then you can see you've got full power adjustments on the seats with the lumbar. And then something I forgot to note, the Bighorn will have a manual seat on the passenger, whereas the Laramie passenger seat will be power adjustable as well. You can see Laramie across, and then you've got more suede inserts with the leather bolsters. And I like that piping. Pedal layout just down below, hood latch. This is all gonna look the same. So power adjustable pedals, parking brake, and then you can see lights automatic, fog lights, cargo light, dimmers for the different screens, and then steering wheel again is manually adjustable. Now hopping into the Bighorn step and height's pretty easy to get in and out of, but to start up, just put your foot on the brake, push the push start and the truck will start right up. Now on the steering wheel here, we can see we've got our cruise control. This is to manually shift the gears. Ram logo in the center here on the truck. You can see the steering wheel fully wrapped in leather with contrasted stitching. These are the controls for the center screen, voice command controls. There are rocker panels on the back of the steering wheel to control the radio stations. And then you've got your windshield wiper, turn signal stock just behind the steering wheel. Now you can see the gauge cluster setup. So RPMs on the left side, you can see that you've got the speed on the right side and then you've got that little center screen, which you can scroll through a bunch of different menus on the Bighorn. This is the more upgraded unit. So a really nice look to it in general. Now coming over here, we've got the 8.4 inch touchscreen here on the Bighorn, really responsive, really easy to use in general. You've got a couple controls. So you've got your heated seats and heated steering wheel. And then you can see the backup camera. There is a little zoom function right there on the backup camera. And then you can see your little phone tab, everything. And then, like I said, dual zone climate as well with this. So really, really easy to use. Now I've got all of our analog controls down here. So analog controls for the touchscreen, analog controls for heated seats, heated steering wheel dual zone climate controls right there. And then you've got your parking sensors, tow haul mode, stability control. And then right there, you've got your trailer brakes. You've got a couple charging stations down in this area. That's where the CD player used to be. And now it's just kind of like a little storage area. You can hold your phone down here and then you've got a little charging station right there, full power outlet. Before we dive more into the console, this is your shifter for the eight speed automatic right there, dial shifter. Got two wheel drive, four wheel auto, four wheel high, true neutral, and then four wheel low. And then yes, if we pop over here, got your center console. So this slides back and forth, has some cup holder storage here. You can pick up the top here. Note what the materials look like, especially on the top as well. And then you can see you've got little charts there and you can see all of the storage. And while we're on the topic storage, here is the glove box. So dual glove box in the Bighorn and then it says Bighorn on the outside of the glove box. And then it's kind of like rubberized. It's actually pretty hard to touch just all around in this area. Now up here, we've got all of our light controls. That's for your power rear siding window, universal garage door opener. Everything else though is pretty simple up in this area. 
Now wrapping things up on the interior of this Bighorn, let's quickly talk about pricing. So this Bighorn stickers for about $52,000 before any type of market adjustment. It's pretty much a fully loaded night edition. But with that all being said, let's head over to the Laramie to see what the front interior is like on that truck. Laramie is a push button, so put your foot on the brake, push the push start, and it'll start right up. Those steps in that Bighorn make it easier to get in and out of versus this truck, which has uh, no steps. <laughs> Now we can see the cruise control right here. You've got your gear selector RAM logo in the center again. You've got the steering wheel with the contrasted stitching on the center of it. All of your controls for the center screen, voice command controls, rocker panels on the back of the steering wheel to control the radio stations. And again, turn signal, windshield, wiper, stock. Now here we've got the little gauge cluster. You notice this is gonna look identical to the big horn. So RPMs on the left side, on the right side, you've got your speed on, and then you've got that same little center screen that you can scroll through a bunch of different menus, but pretty simple setup. So this Laramie has the 8.4 inch touchscreen just like that Bighorn does next to us and you can get 12 inch screen in either the Bighorn or the Laramie. So same on that, you can see the touchscreen is really responsive, easy to use. This one happens to have navigation on it as well. So it's got that pinch to zoom function, heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel. You can see the backup camera with the little zoom function on it um, other than that though things are pretty straightforward still get the dual zone climate with this as well now just down below we've got all of our analog controls so analog controls for the heated cooled seats you've got your analog radio controls dual zone climate controls your parking sensors tow haul mode stability control trailer brake see charging stations down here and then they've kind of made it look a little bit different on this truck and then you can see you've got little holders for the phone and then right there you've got that for a little power outlet same area and then again for the eight speed automatic, but you notice the shifter, the finish on it's a little bit nicer. Two wheel drive, four wheel auto, true neutral, four wheel high, and then four wheel low. Now center console, you can see this pretty much all looks identical. This has felt on it though, whereas the big horn was rubber. And then you can see it's still got the same little tables. Everything here is gonna look pretty much the same. Glove boxes, you can open those up. Um, again, these have felt in them whereas the Bighorn did not. And then you can see the dash with some stitching and then soft touch, whereas the Bighorn was just kind of like the hard touch plastic, kind of like what that is right there. And then it says Laramie on the front. Up top again, power rear sliding window, light controls, universal garage door opener. So pretty simple and then you got little microphones for the Bluetooth. Now let's wrap things up on this Laramie Sport to go over pricing on this. So this Laramie Sport is priced at $57,000 MSRP roughly before any type of market adjustment. So it's about $5,000 more than that Bighorn. But that all being said, let's finish things up to kind of compare the vehicles back to back at the end of the video. Final thoughts between the two vehicles. Here's what I have to say. If you're getting a Bighorn, if you get kind of like a baseline Bighorn, that is a really good value. But once you start loading up the features on the Bighorn, it gets really close to pricing on a Laramie so at that point it would make more sense to get a Laramie it just depends on how many options you add so if you want a ton of features the Laramie is going to be the better route to go because it has more standard equipment but if you're not getting a ton of features you're going to go for more of like a baseline Bighorn then that's going to be a better value you're going to save yourself quite a bit of money but I mean other than that they're super similar they're built off the same platform same engine same transmission everything the same it's just cloth interior versus leather interior a little bit more standard equipment versus a little bit less standard equipment as you guys saw in the video and then you also saw the pricing difference between the two trucks that is going to wrap things up for today's video I really appreciate all of you for watching two very very beautiful trucks absolutely love them but as always if you're stopping in for the first time please subscribe comment down below what you thought and then again a big shout out and thank you to larry h miller dodge ram jeep chrysler here in sandy utah for providing us with the trucks check out their inventory in the link below if you're in the market for a new ram uh, now i gotta park this back fun 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 ah okay and also sneak peek that truck's gonna be in our next comparison and the red one